At least 17 people were killed on Wednesday as heavy rains triggered landslides and floods, forcing thousands of to move to safety amid fast-filling water reservoirs and swollen rivers in various parts of the country. In Telangana, the Telangana government announced education institutes in the state will remain closed till Saturday due to continuous rain that inundated low-lying areas and damaged road links in several places. In Maharashtra's Palkar, Pune City and the neighboring Pimbri Chindwat area, schools and colleges will remain shut on Thursday due to a heavy rain forecast. Rains have wreaked havoc in Maharashtra, causing a landslide in the Palkar district that killed a man and his daughter while four people were swept away in overflowing streams in the Gondia district. Both Palkar and Gondia districts have been witnessing very heavy rains since Tuesday night that inundated low-lying areas. Following the landslide in Palkar, at least 40 families in the neighborhood of Wakralpada have been shifted to safety. Rains, however, continued to elude Delhi as the city has so far recorded 148.2 mm of rainfall against a normal of 149.7 mm since June 1. Despite light rains in the morning, high humidity oscillating between 68% and 95% caused discomfiture during the day. In the west, heavy showers in parts of South Gujarat and Guj, Saurashtra regions since Tuesday left 14 people dead, while over 31,000 were evacuated so far this season. Palsa District Administration asked people to go to safer places as water levels in Auranga River continue to rise. The administration also shared the emergency number 02632-240212. Three national highways in Guj, Navsari and Tang districts were blocked while 51 state highways and over 400 panchayat roads have also been damaged, State Disaster Management Minister Rajendra Trivedi said. As rains continue to wreak havoc in different parts of Karnataka, Chief Minister Basavaraj Bomai said 32 people have lost their lives so far and rupees 500 crore will be released immediately to restore the basic infrastructure that got damaged. Rivers in the region have swelled, several dams have reached the brim and there is severe water locking in agriculture fields and low-lying areas causing damage to crops and to properties. Similar is the situation in adjoining districts of Shivamoka, Chikamakuluru and Hassan. With the Dunga Padra Dam almost reaching its capacity and increasing water flow in the river, there are threats of some of the monuments at the heritage site of Hambi, like Burandara Mondawa, getting inundated. In Odisha, very heavy rains battered many parts of the coastal state, causing a landslide in the Gachapati district that damaged at least 10 houses, while major roads in Malkan Giri and Galahandi districts were damaged. The IMD has forecast heavy to very rains in nine southern Odisha districts in the next two days. The heavy rainfall has thrown life out of gear in the Motu area of Manlan Kiri district bordering Andhra Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. Road communication between Malkan Kiri to Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Chhattisgarh has been disrupted as rainwater up to a height of 6 to 8 feet was flowing on the road, an official said. The rainwater was also seen flowing over major roads in the Galahandi district.